This is the Scrap Metal and Commodities Recycling Report brought to you by Ben Lee, the industry leader in roll-off trailers and open-top scrap gondola trailers, as well as Raleigh and Goldsmo Metal Recycling, the leaders in North Carolina for scrap metal, cardboard, computers, batteries, and junk cars. Today is Monday, October 5th, 2015. My name is Greg Brown. The key thing I can say this morning is it was the best of times and it's the worst of times for many of you out there. U.S. steel production was slightly up again in the last reporting week and has remained somewhat steady for the past few months, but it is well below last year due to continued imports and the lack of strong demand. The U.S. oil drilling rig count was down yet again last week and is now down more than 60% from last year, meaning the demand for steel used in oil rigs is less than half of what it was last year. There were 640 oil rigs running last week and there were an enormous 1609 last year. Auto sales last month hit a 10-year high. That is a positive and negative for scrap prices. Demand for steel was great, as was scrap metal produced from this high production. Scrap steel, steel prices are at multi-year lows. But now the serious news. China and Turkey demand for U.S. scrap remains very weak, as does U.S. demand for scrap for U.S. steel mills. Scrap is being produced in the U.S. at a good rate from demolition and manufacturing from items like appliances and cars. This means there is enough scrap steel to supply the mills, so most believe scrap steel may fall $30 or more per gross ton this week, which is $1.33 per 100 pounds. Some grades could fall even more, so scrap could fall 15% or more this week. This drop will have a devastating effect on small scrapyards and shredders. Copper prices were up about 10 cents last week. Sadly, the reason was another announcement of the closing of copper mines to reduce supply. Prices were not up due to better demand. This five-year copper chart speaks for itself. Prices are near six-year lows. Copper inventories on this one-year chart we showed last week continues to show a small decrease, but the inventories remain double what they were a year ago. There will be no increase in copper prices anytime soon. Aluminum prices for the past six plus years are like copper. Prices remain at their six-year lows. Nickel, the major component of stainless steel, had its price come down as well all year and has stabilized for the past month. Sadly, nickel's five-year chart looks very much like copper and aluminum down for years. There remain mixed signals for the U.S. economy. Wall Street has been struggling in recent weeks and job creation last month was lower than forecast. Yet things like Consumer Confidence Index that was released last week are very high. OmniSource Southeast, which has been struggling under enormous pressure due to excess shredder capacity, implemented a layoff last week. Just another sign of the tough times in the industry. For current prices, please call us at 919-828-5426 in Raleigh and 919-731-5600 in Goldsboro. We hope with, the, with that, all have a safe and profitable week. Tune in next week for the Scrap Metal and Commodities Recycling Report. This is Greg Brown. Have a, as good a week as possible in these very tough times.